being around the water, the sand, the mountains, and the snow. Just being outside, it's wonderful. Since we were basically the first generation of kids to have open heart surgery to replace these congenital heart defects, uh, they at that time thought we were fixed. For uh, then 30 plus years, I went on seeing regular cardiologists that knew that I was uh, like the outdoors, I like to ski, I like going trekking and so forth, and said that since I wasn't feeling any symptoms, there was nothing wrong with me. And uh, indeed, I had a visit with a cardiologist in October, and there I went into VTAC three months later uh, and almost uh, uh, perished uh, before I was uh, defibrillated out of it. And uh, local doctors didn't know what to do with me. That's what brought me to Dr. Foster because she had a history of working with other uh, congenital heart defect uh, patients that were operated on at that side, and now we're starting to experience problems. And uh, more and more, uh, she has been great at encouraging uh, both people like myself and her community of physicians and doctors, basically, to uh, realize that we're different. We have different problems. We're going to become upon difficulties as we grow into adults, and that there should be uh, uh, a specialist in this area to be able to help us grow even older. I'm happy for every birthday, whether it's the 50th or the 53rd coming up, I'm happy for it. Uh, life is precious and there's, uh, I have two teenage children that are, are growing up and I'm happy that I can uh, share some of the things that I've done with them and see them grow up. Um, I had my pulmonary valve replacement when I was 37 on Valentine's Day. This will be my 15th year anniversary after it was put in, so I'm happy about that. Uh, I guess February is a good month for me in that regard. <laughs>